In physics, there is the paradox of wave-particle duality, and also there is no understanding of why the speed of light is a universal constant, independent of the motion of the source or the observer. I believe this is because we are within the universe, within the process as an integral, interactive part of the process. It is similar to a fish trying to understand the nature of water. When the fish moves, the water would move relative to the fish. They could easily come up with the idea that water is a wave and a particle at the same time. Also, for them nothing would be able to travel faster than the interactive nature of water. They could think of the speed of water as a universal speed limit, or universal constant. This misunderstanding would come about because they have no understanding of time as a physical process and are totally emerged in water, that is moving relative to every movement they make. And it is the same for us and light or electromagnetism. Electromagnetism is an innate part of all matter with the electromagnetic force being responsible for all the everyday properties of the chemical elements of the periodic table, including all chemical bonding. We have an exchange of photon energy whenever the atoms of the periodic table bond or break. In this theory, it is this interaction between photons and the electron probability cloud of the atoms that form the ever-changing world of our everyday life that we measure as a period of time. The future is unfolding with each photon-electron coupling or dipole moment, with each photon oscillation or vibration only occurring once, but with the process of energy exchange as a whole forming a unique and uncertain future. Because the universe is never at absolute zero, there is always the spontaneous absorption and emission of light, with the atoms continuously interacting with the electromagnetic spectrum. If our eyes were more sensitive to the different wavelengths of light, we would be able to see that everything is radiating electromagnetic waves continuously. This process of photon energy exchange forms a continuous movement of positive and negative charge. With the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons acting like the bits or zeros and ones of a computer, forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, forming the possible into the actual. This process is relative to the different structures that the atoms form, with different phase changes in matter changing how the process unfolds at different temperatures. At the most fundamental level, this can be explained as a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking that will naturally form entropy or disorganization with the built-in potential for ever greater symmetry formation. A simple example of this is flowing water with hydrogen bonds breaking and forming with the exchange of photon energy and the movement of positive and negative charge relative to the environment that the water is flowing in. This represents the future unfolding photon by photon within the water. Just a change in environmental temperature can cause the atoms to bond together with the process forming the degrees of freedom needed for infinite snowflake diversity. The same process can be seen in the diversity of plant life with photon energy cascading down from the sun forming greater degrees of freedom for entropy or disorganization and also greater degrees of freedom for the complexity and diversity of cell life. This can be seen with the organization and movement of positive and negative charge being relative to the membrane of each living cell. The oneness and unity of this geometrical process can be seen 
When the spherical symmetry breaks, it often forms the most beautiful of geometrical shapes, with the Fibonacci spiral being visible almost everywhere in nature. The Fibonacci spiral can be seen in living and non-living things that are formed over a period of time, representing the broken symmetry of this process that forms a passage of time. At high temperatures we have a phase change of matter, with the process unfolding on a much larger scale in the form of plasma, with charge being able to cover a large area of interstellar space. This spherical geometry can even be seen in these images from the International Space Station, with a candle flame in zero gravity naturally forming a sphere that is interacting with the environment on the two-dimensional surface of the sphere. In our everyday life, fire would take on the same spherical symmetry if the symmetry was not broken by this universal process of energy exchange that forms a potential for the ever-changing world of our everyday life, forming what we see and feel as the passage or continuum of time. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this theory.